Hey everyone, what's up? This is Elvin Mark. You're tuned to my art channel. Welcome! And if you're here for the very first time, a big hi from me. We've seen that before, the Orient Express. If you're new here and you haven't seen it, please click on this link over here. Right now, it's, it's just so difficult to travel out of the country. I, I do appreciate the fact that they bring in these shows to keep us entertained. Good morning everyone, this is Elvin Mark. You're tuned in to my art channel. Yeah, check that out. We're at the Gardens by the Bay. And look, there's more mid-autumn festival lanterns here that I didn't know about. Here on a very deserted day. Oh dear. <laughs> it is a very deserted day. Almost no one here. And I'm going to visit the Cloud Forest. I think it's my first time in there. I have a very special guest who will be joining me in the gardens for a sketch session. So you'll meet this artist later on. For now, I'm gonna go in, set up, and start painting. So what's new? Shake Shack is in town. So that's the Flower Dome, that's where we always head to. Today will be Cloud Forest. And I think the entrance is down below. Hi, can I check, is Cloud Forest open today? Oh yes, it's open. Uh, the entrance is from the bottom now? Yeah, Okay. Okay, thank you. Just to be doubly sure, Cloud Forest is open. So everyone, when you're heading out to the gardens, please check on the official website if either of the gardens are open. They may be closed because of maintenance. Step on the curve. Wow, that's something, eh? Um, I'm gonna just walk up, trail up and check out to see if there's space up there because I heard it's really tight. Yeah, otherwise I'll just set up here and uh, paint the fall because there, there seems to be a lot more space here. Let's do this. Okay, it's, it's really pretty up there but really, really tight at the same time. So I'm gonna just hang out here to make this painting <laughs> of the falls. Man-made falls. Almost everything is man-made here in Singapore. <laughs> this is Elvin Mark, welcome! Sorry, I'm gonna be corny to the fall edition at Gardens by the Bay. Okay, this is the only white platform where I feel comfortable painting where I don't think I'll bump into anyone. I would say that the Cloud Forest is not a good place to paint in. Uh, but if you want to do small little sketches or illustrations on certain plants that you find here, it's perfect. Also, if you're here in the morning and if the sun peeks through the clouds, you're not going to really see a lot because the sun will be directly behind the waterfalls, meaning the whole falls will be in darkness. So wait for an overcast day before you come, if you really want to come here and paint.
everyone, say hi. This is Jonathan Ho. <laughs> okay, this is not Jonathan, this is Kenneth Chin. Everyone, uh, I'll leave his uh, information down the uh, description box so they can check out his art and what he does. Uh, we're going to interview him later to uh, get inspired. So let's get him set up first. Yeah, and then we'll continue on with this. So everyone, what do you think, huh? <laughs> the angle was a bit tight, uh, especially when you're looking at it like that. It's fine when you're viewing it from a wide angle camera, like what you're seeing, but when you're here in person, it gets a little bit tighter. So I had to imagine myself taking a step back, maybe 20 meters from here, which is not possible because of this foliage over here. Anyway, we're uh, done. Okay, let's get Kenneth set up right now. Which which is your favorite color? Wow. Well, I think it will be Oh, wow. I think you've been waiting for this all this time. We're gonna ask Kenneth some questions because he's really inspiring with what he has been doing. Thanks for being with us on the show. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, How long have you been making art? Well, uh, I've been making art since I was very young. I started doing animals for as long as I remember. Mostly the popular animals like the African lion, the typical lion, giraffe, elephant. And then after that, I got interested in the world diversity. I opened up the encyclopedia. Any animal that pops out or anything that I see interesting, I will sketch it out. And slowly, I built my library of knowledge and different species out there. And he's really good at that, documenting it. And your favorite animal would be the dragon? He probably referring to the dragon lizard. This is a agami lizard that is able to have the ability to glide from tree to tree. Yeah. I have a lot of favorites, so different group. Some would be like the Tasmanian tiger, which is already extinct. Orcas, hummels, tigers. How did you hear about urban sketches? My friend Ajit Lang, he brought me along to sketch with the other deaf sketches as well. So we slowly uh, try to make friends in the community and get to know the key members and uh, from then I just join on my own. Uh, when you speak to anyone, do you read or can you hear pretty much the whole conversation? I, I can pretty much understand most of the locals uh, because of accent wise. Now currently with the COVID situation, the mask up, it's very difficult for me to live with. So uh, still better without the mask. I actually lost my hearing when I was two years old, but the cause is unknown, it's undiagnosed. Immediately, I was uh, fitted with hearing aids and continued to catch up with the, uh, the other kids. I started school one year earlier to in, in preparatory for school and then eventually at primary three, I joined the mainstream. Mainstream, okay. Uh, did you encounter issues or did you have challenges at school because of your hearing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, typically, I uh, have had bullying problems. The, the most difficulty I had throughout school is catching up with lessons because a lot of lessons are taught by speech. So, a lot of important notes or like exam tips I miss out. So, it's very common. Uh, luckily, uh, for my poly days, I had my close friend who told me and update me in case of any information that I miss out. What, what do you do now uh, as in work, you know? Uh, so, 
I do primarily illustrations. Uh, my favorite would be scientific types. So I'll dis- illustrate hand move for papers or now I'm like uh, working on a guidebook. On the side job, I am a guide at Hunting Puffs. So we bring the locals to intertidal wards or night wards or sometimes kids camp like with bird watching. Oh wow, that's interesting. Yeah. You were also uh, interning or working at the sea aquarium, aquarium. Sea aquarium yeah, yeah. right? So I was an uh, intern there and I continued to work there for two years. It's okay. a jellyfish aquarist. So I, I breed and take care of them. Yeah, he, he bred and took care of jellyfish. It's very specific at the uh, sea aquarium. We have to visit that place someday. Yeah, just uh, go for it, you know. Art is a test of patience, so uh, don't be quick to expect results because uh, art is like a journey and every step it takes to get better, you don't see the improvement right away, just like building your arm muscles and eventually it pays off. After one year, you look back, you, you will see a lot of improvements. So Kenneth has done a lot of really amazing animal illustrations. I'm going to leave his link down below. He has made merchandise, stickers and things. He does sell them. So if you're interested in purchasing from him, please look up his Instagram or his website. Instagram. Instagram, yeah. Website, yeah. Thanks for your time. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you are uh, inspired. Yeah, the only reason why I remove my mask is so that uh, he can also lip read what I'm saying. Uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. You. see you around. I'll be sketching with him. Once social distancing goes a lot easier, we'll be able to see Kenneth a lot more on the street sketching. So yeah. yeah. In the meantime, check his stuff out. Also his okay. YouTube channel. So. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Cool. Thank you.